If you're thinking about making a purchase in 2024, then we have some great news for you. All right, on today's Did You Know Show, we have a guest here and we have Esmeralda Velasco with Gem Mortgage here in Stockton, California. And we're here to bring her on to talk about mortgage rates and all that good news. So um, t- t- give us a little history about where rates were and where they're at today. So rates last year reached seven and three quarters. Currently, we're about six and a quarter, possibly even under, depending on each, you know, your circumstance, which means there's more affordability options for you. So if you did a pre-approval last year and you thought about maybe shopping, um, you could actually afford more of a home now or get yeah. a bigger loan. Yeah, and as you can see, we'll, we'll throw up the chart here. Most of 2023, we saw an increase of rates throughout the entire year. A lot of uncertainty on where rates were falling, but as you can see on the chart here, rates started to fall in the mid-November range of 2023, and they've been in going down in one direction, that's down. So what are some of the expectations of where rates are gonna f- go to in 2024? Yeah, so some of the expectations are that rates will be dropping uh, in the fives, uh, hopefully wow. within this quarter. So we're hoping to see rates in, in the fives which is great news because we have not seen rates in the fives for 18 months or more. Yes, correct. So I want to uh, show you a chart here, and this comes from our uh, friends who are keeping current matters, and it gives us an example of your purchasing power of a buyer. So looking at the chart here, it has rates from anywhere from 7.5 down to 5.5 on the left side of the screen, and then across the top are different loan amounts from 440000 across to 360,000 on the screen. So it just is a great example of the impact rates have on affordability. For example, the, there's a $360,000 mortgage at 7.5%, but principal and interest payment is 2517. But that same 2517 payment could be found on the chart of about six and a quarter with a loan amount of 420,000. So, with the rates dropping to from seven and a half to six and a quarter, what is that? You can afford a house that's sixty thousand dollars more, or so right. So the your buying power, your purchasing power, your affordability is impacted uh, on a greater basis when rates fall. And according to the Mortgage Banker Association, the MBA expects that affordability conditions will continue to improve as mortgage rates decline. Yeah, so again, if you were thinking about purchasing a home at the tail end of 2022 or all of 2023 and maybe put that off because uh, rates just made things really affordable, now might be a good time to revisit. Uh, Sit down with the lender like Esmeralda here and revisit your numbers, revisit uh, what you could afford in today's market. And as she mentioned with the expectations and and the quote here, when rates do decline further, you'll be ready to go and might be able to purchase that home you've been looking for. If you're looking to see what you qualify for now, um, it's a great time to stop by and speak to me or your preferred lender. Um, The consultation is completely free Mm -hmm. and I will be able to give you uh, an update on how much you qualify for, what loan programs are available for you, if there's any type of down payment assistance program that you qualify for. And uh, I would be able to tell you what your monthly payment, your down payment, and um, your cash to close would be. Perfect. Well, thanks you guys so much for watching today's video on affordability and uh, please reach out to Esmeralda if you are in the market to purchase a home in 2024. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next video.